It was over a year ago now that Alan Jack Collier became involved in a project that had very, very tragic beginnings. There was a fire in a nursing home at Quakers Hill. Uh, there were, I think, 11 people lost their lives. Uh, it was quite a tragic morning uh, to hear this on the news. The fire brigade got there very quickly, uh, discovered fires and smoke and uh, some very distressed and uh, confused old people were wheeled out of the burning building into the parking area onto the street and it was quite a chaotic, chaotic scene. Uh, not long after that, Alan Jack and Cody were approached to investigate the possibility of replacing this facility. Uh, we visited the building and looked at uh, what was there where the fire uh, had uh, consumed a section of the building. It was an older facility uh, and we've seen many cases where uh, in our work we've been upgrading and modernising and replacing older facilities. It's, they're at this time of life now where in fact the it is a change of life for these buildings. So we were engaged to look at a completely new facility, bring all of the, the bedrooms and the facilities up to and beyond what is the, the current standard. We went through a series of design options for the site. The client wanted to increase the number of beds on the site to better serve the community in the area. And as well as that, the general space standards had changed dramatically from when the original building had been designed. So we ended up with a much bigger building. And while the first and original building was a single story, because of the space standards and the extra requirements for new residents, we have developed a two-story building. That building is in, is in essence a, a group of houses, the way that it functions. There is a dementia-specific area uh, that has 16 beds, it's self-contained, and all of the best thinking, the thinking that's come from years and years of work uh, at AJC and specifically de designed for dementia is incorporated into that facility. There's a memorial garden will be built in, the, uh, in one of the courtyards, and that's to commemorate, uh, I think, the 11 people who died. At the, uh, at the initial fire, as well as the support that the um, facility received from the fire brigade and the ambulance and the community generally. If there were three things that we would really aim and have achieved in all of our facilities is good wayfinding for people who have cognitive disabilities, a sense of uh, homeliness and a, a quality of, of living and making the building workable and flexible and serviceable into its, into its later life.